Yo, what is going on everybody? We are about 30 hours into No Man's Sky and I've just reached the final Atlas Stone. Yes, it's kind of hard to believe, but I've actually reached the final Atlas. Now this took quite a lot of time, but once you get the hang of this game, it's actually quite simple. And if all you're going for is the Atlas, I'm sure you could do this in under 5 hours. It's actually quite easy to do. So once you have, all, have gone to all 10 Atlases, you want to make sure that you are saving your Atlas Stones along the way. Do not delete your Atlas Stones or else by the time you get here, you're not going to be able to actually beat the game. So here's a quick look at all of my journey discoveries. I have reached maximum milestone Galileo, total milestones of 61. So that's everything I've done up until this point to get here. Each atlas you go to, you will need another level of milestone in order to keep continuing on to the next one. So it's not like you can just keep jumping from atlas to atlas. You will have to do some adventuring and some discovering along the way to actually get here. But once you get here, it is time to actually go ahead and unlock the final atlas to see what this thing has to tell me. I don't. I honestly don't even know what's going to happen. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I have technically beaten this portion of the game. As far as this portion of the game is concerned, there's about three portions of the game that you can do. There's one just exploring on your own, unlocking and just discovering everything as you go. That's a pretty cool portion. Now there's also the part of the game where you can go to the center of the universe. I don't know what happens when you go there. I have not even really gone on that path whatsoever. I've just been strictly sticking to the path of the atlas. So here we go. When my journey is complete, a great sense of fulfillment washes over me but fades as I realize that for all my efforts, I am unchanged, unbidden. The atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway and I realize that what is about to happen if I let it. So what you can do is you can walk away and return to the galaxy if you like or you can go ahead and turn in all 10 of your atlas stones. Now this is why I said you did need to actually make sure that you save all of your atlas stones along the way otherwise once you get to this point, you're just going to have to be, you're kind of going to be stuck. You're going to have to go out and like go and get more atlas stones in order to even continue. So it is very important that you save your Atlas Stones along the way just so, so that you can go ahead and complete this portion of the quest. So as soon as I fill up the inventory space, you have to make sure that all of your Atlas Stones are actually on your person. So I had to make sure that my warp cells and everything else was off of my character. So I had the room to actually go ahead and do this. Now you also will need a free inventory slot when doing this. So again, I did have to transfer over a lot of items over to my ship just to make sure that I had enough energy and inventory space once I did this. So here we go, we're going to crack this, open the final atlas, and see what it actually gives me. My journey is complete, a great sense of fulfillment washes over me, blah 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 blah. We already went through this. Time to birth a new star for 10 atlas stones. The orb floods my mind with an image, a new star has been created at the edge of the galaxy, a new traveler will awaken there. I'm at least free to explore now, I can see the fabric of space, the simulation, and the black holes within it. Maybe I will find some answers there. So there you have it, guys. That's pretty much what happens when you find all the atlases. You don't really get anything for doing so. You do create a brand new star, apparently, but I don't think you can even go to it. I tried leaving the space station and bringing up the galactic map to see if maybe it wanted me to go to the new planet that I just created. But unfortunately, there really was no way to do that. So basically what you do is you get to all 11 atlases. This is the 11th atlas I've been to because you need to get 10 prior in order to get those stones. So once you get to your 11th atlas, you will finally be done going after atlas and there really won't be anything much else to do after that. Unfortunately, the rest of the game is simply just discovering and going after the black holes and the center of the universe. So in a few more days, I may figure out what's there, and I will let you guys know. But until then, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.